Hey folks, and how's it going? So today we're, well actually it was last, last night I actually started looking at this one, it's called Be Fast Automate. Basically click on that, you get some XML. It's got about five or six of these inside it, five or six books. You have to find test computer software and then you have to put the ISBN number in here, okay? So to make a start on that last night and today, I scanned in that page so you can just do your normal X on load books and then we basically buffer the catalog that we get back which is the contents here and then I was looking at the documentation for the XML stuff and it all seems to be about either pulling it from a web service or um, somewhere else actually a file so I decided I'll look, you know, I'll just save it as a file and then uh, catalog that XML and overwrite. So each time you run it, it overwrites the file. Although the contents of this thing doesn't seem to change. The order might though. Uh, and then I open an XML file and I put it into a resource because everything's done through resources. I call it library. And the file path is C outputs catalog XML. And then I do an evaluate. I just want to see what kind of how many books we're actually getting in there. I just said maybe we're getting three because I wasn't sure. So I'll show you what I'm getting right now. Let's run this. And then we get it will fail. And it's basically everything else is working now, but the verification has failed. Okay, because we're actually seeing six of these things and not three. Now uh, I'll open up the XML now in a second. So this is the content of the catalog.xml file. Douglas Adams, great author, great book. Richard Dawkins, another great book. <laughs> Didn't read it, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sorry, Ken Carner. I haven't heard of this Douglas Hofstadter book either. Or Thomas Boyle. Or Thomas Hunter. I haven't read any of these books apart from the first two. Okay, so that's that. So now we see what we're looking for. Um, the testing book that one there so we need to basically go catalog book and then ISBN and then that should get us what we need so now we need to create a scan of a file and we want catalog so now we have a module that will allow us to put a constraint on title and then buffer the ISBN. So uh, we just created that new module, so let's take it, throw it in there, and we need to say the resource, I think, I think it's called library, and the author of the book was um, Oh, some computer testing, was it? Shit. Uh, computer testing. Uh, let's have a look at the output file. Let's see what it was called again. Testing computer software. Okay. That needs to be a constraint. So we, we, we this is like a select uh, book. Uh, where title is equal to blah 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 in SQL and the ISBN we want to buffer that and that's the actual value it got back is it? no okay uh, I just want to call it IS, ISBN book and then we need to basically that's what we want there so we want this one again copy paste we don't want to do that we don't want to do that but we do want to put that in there so far <clears throat> okie dokes let's give it a go run it seems to have worked 
I'm gonna hit enter. Tab. Uh, two, three. Be fast, automate. Okay. One five three two four two. Uh, one five three two four two three. Okay, so that is the correct ISBN number. But it wants it to be done a little bit faster, maybe. Okay. Um. Let's see. We load. Let me refresh. Okay. Let's try it again. The website didn't seem to like that. 5040. Let's see if it's the right number. Five oh four oh. So the ISBN number is correct. So I'm wondering I'm wondering if the input field has to be modified so it takes an on change. Let's go have a look at that module. Uh, this is the module we were using, jump to module. And then we'll see fire event change. How about we try how about we change it to input? See if that makes any difference. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Run it. Hey! Bingo! That's it guys. <laughs> Listen, um, thanks for being patient. That one took a little bit of a while. Uh, appreciate a subscription or a click on a little thumbs up thing, it really helps the channel. Costs you nothing. Uh, or a comment, that's even better. Cheers. Have a nice uh, evening. Bye.